Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, I'm Andy. And uh, today we're in good old central Maine. It's a beautiful day. Uh, looks like we're gonna be a high of like 35-ish degrees. Um, good day to be out in the woods, not freezing cold, and uh, get some stuff done. Uh, today we got our uh, love of our life on Valentine's Day. It's the uh, CK3510 SE. Um, hopefully my wife doesn't watch this video. She'll probably get mad, but uh, she's all hooked up for uh, logging if you're new to the channel. And we get the Trig Tire Chains. We get the Wallenstein FX66 Log Winch. And a little custom uh, chainsaw holder up there that I want to move. I kind of temporarily put it there. I got some metal brackets for it. It does work, but the saw sticks out. You don't want that saw getting uh, hung up on a tree and ripped off. And we also got the uh, Sundown uh, GR40 Log Grapple. We literally built our house, cleared this lot, um, basically using this tractor uh, to harvest the uh, wood off our property and, you know, the whole building process really, clearing the lot, putting plywood on the roof, moving boards, lumber, this, that, the other thing. Um, so it's a very handy tool and uh, we appreciate it and we couldn't live without it, that's for sure. The coyote did pretty good uh, breaking trail. Um, it pretty much stood on top of the first layer of snow. Um, it did, you know, it was a little bit of a challenge coming in here, but not too bad. Um, we made it. I can't complain. Once we start hauling logs out, I didn't make a, I didn't break the trail going back. So uh, that might be interesting uh, hauling these logs out with that extra weight in the back. But I'm sure if we make a few passes with some light logs, uh, We'll create a nice uh, beaten path and we'll be able to haul these logs out of here. So, all right, let's take down this tree and uh, see what we got. Yeah, we didn't do too bad. We, uh, our hinge did its job, put it pretty much where we wanted it. And uh, now we're gonna buck this thing up into eight foot, six inch logs. In case you're wondering why we do the eight foot six, um, by the time we saw it, the end's dry, we'll cut that back and we'll get a true eight when we're all said and done after the, uh, after the lumber's done drying. Yeah, I need to get myself a logger's tape. fungus or mushroom whatever you want to call it I'm not exactly sure the terminology of this um, but that indicates possibility of rot 
see the woodpeckers we're getting in there. Yeah, I think we did pretty good. I think we got out of here just in time. You saw the other video, um, those poplars are much bigger, but um, we salvage what we can out of them, but there's definitely some rot. The only reason why we can make it back here is because we're on top of our snowbill uh, trail. Kind of made the snow nice and hard so we can stay on top of it. But. I'm going to winch it back in and hopefully we can make it all the way back without uh, getting stuck again. Small projects we're doing. We're really not worried about a 
we are worried about the quality of the wood, but not to that extent. So if you can get some stuff out of this, make like a woodshed, something like that, we'll use it. I'm gonna haul out these logs, and I think I might take down one more. Yeah, this is number two right here. Getting a little windy, but I think we should be able to handle it. Hopefully I don't get hung up on this maple too much. But we're gonna wanna drop it right in here. And I should be able to back up the track and we'll haul it out. Can't get much better than that, folks. Right where we wanted it. So far, so good. We're gonna chop her up. Looks nice and solid. None of those uh, mushroom growths, so uh, hopefully it gets solid wood. We'll find out in a minute. We've been uh, kind of striking out, but not really, because I'm just trying to thin out some of these poplars in here and get rid of those, uh, those dead ones. Well, not dead, but ones that are run away. Uh, there's a few standing around. I'll pick them out. Each each winter, I'll grab a few here and there, try to get them out of here. Get the nice, young, healthy ones to grow uh, big and strong and uh, get some of that sunlight they need. But there's nothing much better than being outdoors in your woodlot, clearing, creating uh, some lumber for your own property, firewood, all that stuff. It's uh, very rewarding, that's for sure. If any of you guys watching, uh, you know, I've done this stuff, you know. It's definitely enjoyable. Yes, we got some nice logs out of those uh, two poplars we just took out. One of them was a little questionable towards the tops, but we got some good logs out of it. So, I mean, we're not doing too bad. But uh, never mind the firewood. We got firewood too. All right, everybody. Appreciate watching. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you haven't done so yet, share, like, and subscribe. Show your friends. And we'll see you soon. We got more videos coming. Take care.